I'm Meg Huddleston, and I'm a Rotary woman from um, Kalbiga Mission in Dubbo, New South Wales. Um, we actually moved um, to Canberra in the late 1979. Um, so from 1980, we've practically lived in Canberra most of most of the time, when our kids were like going to high school. Um, during that time. Um, my husband's um, brothers and, and family were always into art and always doing paintings and selling artwork up in, um, in Darwin. So what happened was he said to me one time, let's form um, an organisation so we can put in for some funds to get a, an Aboriginal art gallery going. So that's what we did. Um, our family um, along with Bob. We, um, we formed Boranju in 2006 and put in for some funds and were successful in 2009 and that's when this gallery started to operate. So the first lot of paintings that appeared on the walls were mostly from our family, the Huddleston family. Um, after that people sort of came into the gallery and uh, they said, oh, can we put some stuff in here too? And we said, that's what this place is about. It's for community to um, do their artwork and um, put them, exhibit their artwork for sale and that way then they can earn some money. Um, so, so that's how we, we started off the gallery. It was a lot of hard work at first um, but after five years, we have over almost 40 artists contributing work in this gallery, and they range from um, from all over New South Wales, as far as Griffith, um, northern New South Wales, down the coast, and of course um, Darwin. So we've got a, um, a variety of artwork from different artists from both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists and also um, local Ngunnawal artists. We've got a couple of artists here as well. So I think on the whole we're pretty proud of what we've achieved so far. Um, but in the meantime we want to go further than just doing artwork. We want to get into doing workshops and that. We want to get into um, drama, we want to get into music. Um, there's a lot of other avenues that mean um, cultural and heritage and that's what we want to be seeing here at this gallery. There's more emphasis on um, this being a facility where people come here from all over the place, um, all over the world and they come here to, to see what sort of um, cultural things we have. Um, to help us along the way, we've had a lot of help. A lot of volunteer work goes on in the background. I'm the office manager for Boranju and I do all the paperwork and the book work and the accounting um, because that's where I've worked most of my working life. And I learnt that when I worked at Aboriginal hostels mostly. Um, I learnt finance and payroll there so I have a good background with finance. Um, we've got good governance with our board. We have a very good board who work with each other. Um, I also use Indigenous community volunteers. Uh, they came in and helped us with our first business plan. Then they helped us with the strategic plan. Um, and I've also asked them to do correspondence occasionally when I've needed it. So we use quite a few um, ICV volunteers to work with us and the other area they helped us with was um, getting our first website up. Uh, that was a major um, task um, that, that we had to we had to get that going and we have had a lot of people looking at the website and 
they know where, where they can come, visit at different times for whatever's happening in the community. I'm standing here with Dale Huddleston, one of the main members here in the community of Canberra, works out here at the Boorindu Gallery. So uh, I just want to ask you, Dale, firstly, uh, what, what does Boorindu mean? Uh, Boorindu is our um, traditional country. It was my, uh, my father's traditional country in, in Arnhemland, in uh, southern Arnhemland, in a uh, place called Rape River, uh, Nuka Aboriginal community, and that's what it means. And uh, that's our traditional country. Beautiful. And the uh, Boorindu Gallery, uh, when was it open at first? Which year? Um, 2009 it opened. It was, like I said, it was a dream of my father, uh, late Bobby Huddleston, to have a, a community-based art gallery in Canberra. And they started the ball rolling probably three years prior to that. And uh, we were lucky enough to, uh, you know, secure this uh, beautiful space here to, to um, have as our, our, our gallery. You know, I noticed you've got a lot of different artists uh, coming through in and out. And, um, um, just tell me, like, what sort of the artists have you have come through here in the past? Well, we, be, Canberra being a, a pretty sort of transient uh, society, uh, a group of people, is that we, we get people from, as you can see by the art here, we get people from all over the country that, that reside in Canberra because they've, they've moved here for work. So they come down here and we've got, we, like, there's artists here from, um, you know, South Australia, there's artists here from Northern Territory, uh, Queensland, everywhere and, and regional New South Wales because Canberra is a meeting place and that's what it means and, and like I say majority of the Aboriginal people here uh, don't come from here. Yeah. Well that's pretty interesting so there's a lot of different variety from each uh, yeah. part of the land that yeah obviously yeah the meeting place here in Canberra. So the next one um, I just want to ask you the sort of programs that you have here uh, could you tell me a bit about uh, the other things that you have running throughout the, from the gallery so we I work with Guggen Garwan Youth Aboriginal Corporation and, and we, we're a youth centre. So we run about four of our different programs out of this facility. We've got a, we've got a workshop upstairs which we utilise every week. Um, we have uh, a, an artist, um, we have uh, like a young men's group, we've got a young women's group. We've also got the um, young mothers group that come in here. We, uh, and and we, we're looking at sort of... Uh, you know, an elders group coming in, you need to paint as well. So we've got a studio that is here, so it gets utilised by the community. My name's Lynette Talbot. Um, I'm, from, I'm a Gerringer woman from, from the south coast of New South Wales. I was born in Nowra um, at a very early age. I moved to Cobar, so I'm influenced by two places. You, you can see that in my artwork because I have a lot of uh, the red, red areas, red desert and all the Cobar things showing up, but I can also do work that is uh, reminiscent of the coast as well. Um, I've only been practising art since 2010. I'm currently involved doing my third year certificate part-time in the cultural arts. I work here at Burringer Art Gallery on Mondays and Tuesdays um, as a project officer raising the awareness of the gallery. I'm also involved in the Boringer's um, new initiative, which is Artists in Schools program. So I'm hoping to get out there and be an artist in school. Um, I like mixed media. I've never quite settled on just the one. I actually love to sew. I like to do quilted items. I love to put the Aboriginal print materials into the, into the things that I sew. Um, I love to do glass work, painting on glass, and I like to do the, the Aboriginal dilly bags, yeah. I really enjoy that. And of course I do just straight mixed media painting, um, but always, not just paint, always with something else as well. So can't keep it just acrylic paints. <laughs> But I, I get involved in all sorts of things. Oh, and weaving. I love to weave as well, but all my weaving stuff is going into exhibition at Maydog Week, so sorry about that. <laughs> my name is Linda Huddleston, and I belong to quite a few different tribes. Um, my grandfather's and tribe up in Northern Territory, a place called Roper River, called Nandi, Nandi tribe. And my grandmother's tribe, which is called Gurundji from Wave Hill in Northern Territory and my mother's tribe, Wiradjuri from Dubbo, New South Wales. 
And I have been painting for at least 30 years. Um, I, first, I first picked up a paintbrush and decided to do a um, painting of an animal. And then I ended up doing dots. So I ended up um, painting a lot of, a lot of my paintings are based on my grandmother's country where I do the traditional dot works and um, in the traditional ochre colours, earth colours. Um, and I have a lot of stories to my paintings um, passed down to me from my traditional owners, traditional elders. So uh, you've, you've told us you've got um, uh, you know, different variety of pro programs here for so many different artists. Mm -hmm. um, you know, who are the different artists that have come through here so far? Um, yeah, we, we've we've had uh, through the other programs that I run. Uh, you know, we've had uh, we've run programs here with like I, I run a program in the in the detention centre at uh, Bimbury, and some of those artists have have have, uh, have have worked here as well and exhibiting the, exhibiting their art as well. So, and you know, we, we we're trying to get programs into correctional centres as well, so that. Uh, you know, on, on release, uh, some of these guys can exhibit their art here as well. I notice you have a studio within the building. Is that also uh, a place where most of these artists come in and, uh, like, do you have programs within uh, teaching music, uh, musical skills, the technology and all that sort of stuff? We use it mainly as a performance thing, but we, you know, we, we, we're going to run sort of dance workshops in there and, uh, you know, dig workshops and, and those sort of things for the community. Like, basically this place here, you can come into it, you can do an art workshop, you can go to a, a you know, view a, view a video on Aboriginal culture, you can also do a, do a, a didgeridoo workshop here. You know, this is what the, the sort of gallery is about and the cultural centre. Mm. My name is uh, Matthew Joseph and uh, my tribe is from Darwin and uh, the Armour Lands in Darwin and Queensland in Atherton, the Tablelands. I've been painting since I was 12. Being, I, taught, I was taught by my mum and my dad, first just doing little dot paintings and then I ended up doing my own creations and all that. The reason I paint is because I love to do it and it's my culture, so I would like to keep the, keep the tradition going. I've also been playing the didgeridoo for a while now, been doing different gigs around Canberra and Sydney, like the multicultural festivals and NADOG week. We've got a lot of like performing artists out of here as well, which um, we've got dance groups that, that perform at the cultural centre here, and, we, we, and we've also got a lot of musicians that are based here in Canberra that that uh, that utilise. We, when we have concerts here, we we're trying to get like a, a group of musicians, and we've got a lot of young people that are performing um, at our community functions as well. Mm. So uh, Borinja is also one of those uh, places where young people actually get up and. Um, uh, you know, start a career within music and, and such. So, so it's, it acts like a, a hub for yeah. a lot of young musicians coming well, through. Yeah, it's not only the visual arts, it's performing arts as well. So what we're trying to create through our programs through the Youth Centre is we've got a music program running there. And like I said, some of those uh, guys in the music program are actually out performing now. So they're starting to get a taste to, for doing uh, shows in not only this community, but in our surrounding communities. Mm. Sounds like there's been uh, a few people uh, you know, that have been uh, quite successful so far. So uh, if you can, just give us a few of those uh, names and examples of... Um, yeah, well, we've had, like, uh, 
you know, we, we've had a lot of the young guys uh, in the hip hop field that are, that are performing. So we've we've have, we've got like about three different acts there, and uh, we've we've also got our, you know our, our sort of steady performers, uh, you know, like myself, and 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 also uh, Johnny Huckle, and uh, we've got young Benny Slab performing now, and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, your daughter, Keisha, she's, yeah. she's performing as well, so we've got quite a, a, a big variety of uh, like talent here in, in the ACT. G'day, my name's Duncan Smith. We're here at the 2014 Multicultural Festival with a little mob from uh, Forbes. Uh, we're uh, dancing here at the festival. We've been doing shows at all the different stages. And this little mob are from the Red Band College in, in Forbes. And uh, this is the first time they ever come down to the festival. We went out a couple of times and taught them to dance. Not that they didn't know how to dance, they know how to dance, but brought them down. We've been doing about We've done the major, main stage yesterday, We've done a, three or four shows today. And uh, the Multicultural Festival is a great place for bringing all different cultures together, but Aboriginal culture is the first culture of this country and uh, has been here for thousands and thousands of years. And it makes me proud to see all these little fellas here standing strong, being strong, being proud in their culture and bringing it to the big city first time. The next dance we're gonna do, is uh, showing off dance. So want to hear about all the movements of our body, arms, legs, putting them both together, eh? Southern Sapphire Day 